Liz. Yeah, shout out to Liz. All right. Um, so write a real world situation that could be modeled by the equation 150 plus uh, 25 times x plus or equals um, 55x. So we're going to, there's a bunch of words here, right? But I want you guys, yeah, there's a bunch of words. But this is, there's a couple of things that we could do. Remember, we're, we're saying, we're comparing something, right? So I want to point out a couple of things. Whenever we see a number in front of an X, remember those are rate of changes. So that's like something per something. So whenever there's a rate of change, that's something per something. And when we set something equal to, uh, by the way, 150, when you think in terms of y equals mx plus b, 150 would be what? The b, which is the y-intercept, which is also, what else is that when we think about story problems? The initial. Yeah, this is like the initial condition. So this is the initial value. So we're comparing two scenarios where in one scenario we have something that costs 150 up front plus 25 times whatever x is. In the other scenario we just pay 55 times whatever x represents. Does that make sense? And we're trying to see where these two expressions are equal. Okay, so I'll read the words. It says the, the well, let me do this little highlighter. The left-hand side of the equation consists of a constant plus a variable term. It could represent the total cost of doing a job where there is an initial fee plus an hourly charge. The right-hand side of the equation consists of a variable term. It could represent the cost of doing the same job based on an hourly charge only. Okay, now the equation 150 minus 25x equals 55 could, represent, could be represented by this situation. A handyman charges 150 plus $25 per hour. This is a plus sign. You just can't see it because I copied and pasted it from your textbook. Let me really highlight that. In your book, it probably looks fine. I said minus, but I did, I, it dawned on me that it's plus. Anyways, back to the uh, words. It says the equation 150 plus 25x equals 55x could represent this, uh, could be represented by this situation. The handyman charges 150 plus $25 per hour for house painting. A painter charges $55 per hour. How many hours would the job have to be to take the handyman's fee over the painter's fee to be the same, right? This is a common thing. Now, most people... Most people nowadays would just go, well, let me figure it out in my head, and they plug in one, and they plug in one, they plug in two, they plug in two, and they figure out the answer. But a brilliant mathematician such as yourselves will take the equation and solve it, and you'll know the answer quickly. This is actually easier, but it's harder to set up. So guess what we're going to do? Well... Let's solve it real quick, although this isn't required from your textbook. I just want, you know, for extra practice. So if I say 150, or as they say where I'm from, 150. Oh, like... Be quiet. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do I do first, guys? X's. Yeah, get the X's on one side. So how do I do that? Minus. She's shocked she had the right answer. She's... I am. We're going to minus 25 from both sides, Jess. All right. So we get both X's on the same side. I need to move one. Now, because I'm moving the 25 with the X and it's a positive 25 X, I simply subtract from both sides. This becomes zero. So I'm left with 150. What's 55 minus 25? Or as they say where I come from, 30. What? <laughs> so... Then to get the 30 away from the X, what do we do? Um, what is what does 30 divide. X mean? Yeah, divide. we divide, but why? It's the opposite of multiplication. Man, I look like I just rolled out of bed, don't I? 
You just said you look good like 10 minutes ago. Okay. Well, I mean, I look good. I just, I, you know, I've looked better. So anyway, 30 divided by 30 is 1. Um, 1 times x is just x. What's 150 divided by 30? 50. So oh, really? 50 hours. At 50 hours, it costs the same. Okay? And we'll, we'll unpack that later, but that's what that is. So now, yes, you have a question? No, it's actually five, isn't it? Who said 50? 